Hey guys, welcome to the new video of Mules of Online Learning. So, uh, in this video, we will be discussing about um, the polling scope, or you can say the scheduler, which is getting triggered on a on a fixed interval of time. So, how we can achieve within a Mules of that we are going to cover in this particular session. So, let's start with our Endpoint Studio. Uh, we will go with new a new project and uh, project name we can put it as scheduler and we will go by the all default configurations for now click on finish it will take couple of seconds to load uh, within the code we will look for scheduler that is one of the endpoint category in the endpoint category scheduler is the only palette um, which can as it shows like schedule is the periodic execution of a flow and by default it uses a fixed frequency with a scheduling of one second so this is something important to understand uh, along with that i will put a logger to uh, check how it is uh, invoking after fixed period of interval so this looks quite good um, so let me walk you through uh, through the configuration of this scheduler it gives two different options either fixed frequency or cron so if you go with cron you can provide a particular expression along with the time zone or if you want to go with fixed frequency it will trigger it once again and again depending upon the configuration parameter which we can specify over here so let me put it as a uh, 10 seconds and i will put it in seconds and this start delay is like after starting the mule runtime engine it will wait for some couple of seconds and then it will start so it's it's in that manner and within the logger uh, i'm going to print um, the timestamp basically now add string format gg admin user such so that is fine and this is hash in the, uh, in the bracket is getting close so we should be good and this is pretty much uh, after that depending upon your business logic you can have any processor um, after this scheduler and depending upon the frequency which we are setting over here it will trigger the rest of the activities after each fixed frequency interval so let me try to uh, run it and i will show um, how it is taking care of this fixed interval So we have started it in the run mode directly and let's see if our logger is able to record this or not. So we can see the first entry available. So first entry is somewhere at one second. So 26, 10 second 36, let's wait for 46. So in this way you can see like uh, after every 10 second of uh, interval it is uh, executing like now 56. So after a fixed interval it is uh, executing uh, automatically. So this is the advantage of using the scheduler. Similar nature of scheduler can also be observed in several other um, palettes as well. Um, just for an example, let me show you about the file palette. So let's drag and drop over here. So this on new or updated file, this will have the same um, process like as we have for scheduler but instead of running at a particular 
configure time interval it will trigger when a new file is available in a particular directory we will come across uh, this uh, um, uh, use case as well in our future videos so i hope you like this video of scheduler flow and please stay tuned for the rest of the upcoming exciting videos as well thanks thanks a lot for watching it